During my usual morning news hunt, I came across one article at your favorite and mine, MSNBC, entitled Long Weekend of Gun Deaths by Investigative Reporter Bill Deadman. I was like, what? As I noticed the statistics from last month, but they had headlined the story as if it was from this past weekend. But that's neither here nor there. So, anyhow, he has an interactive chart showing all the gun deaths around the country for the weekend of January 19th. Let's take a look. Now, being aware of MSNBC's political energy, it didn't take but a second for the shenanigans to unveil itself. The dead giveaway was the green and orange dots. <coughs> Come on, man. Only two police shootings all weekend. Really? I didn't believe it. So, I looked it up. Let's take a look at this one. That's Michigan. No green dots on the map. What about? Let's look at this one. That's Missouri. No orange dot on that. I call shenanigans. And to show how deep left field these turds are, I shall read you a piece of the article I thought was noteworthy. By the end of a long weekend, after President Barack Obama had spoken and the red, white, and blue confetti strewn all along Pennsylvania Avenue had been cleaned up, at least 91 people across America had been killed by guns. That's more than three times the number of caskets needed in Connecticut after the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. These 91 people died, not in a single burst of violence over a few minutes, but spread over a three-day weekend like an auto worker stealing an entire convertible one part at a time. What? <laughs> Investigative journalist, get him, Bruce. <laughs> really want to save lives? Really? How about let's do something about the leading cause of death among people ages 5 to 34? Car accident. Come on, change the channel. That's silly. <laughs> Notice how a vehicle can do over 100 miles an hour, but there's no place to drive that fast. What's its purpose? What about getting rid of texting that causes eight to nine car wreck fatalities a day, over 3,092 a year? You know, if you're serious about saving lives, that is. Wouldn't it be worth it to give up your texting to save lives? The lives of children. Oh, but, but that's a different change to channel. <laughs> During a press conference, old Say It Ain't So Joe Biden said that any report that suggests that he was trying to take weapons away from gun owners was a bunch of malarkey. What? Is this turf for real? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I would think the whole assault are gun ban would be taking away guns from people. <laughs> and we pay this turn? <laughs> He has the audacity to say we're counting on legitimate media. Legitimate media for a successful gun control effort. What, like MSNBC? <laughs> Come on, man. Legitimate media, meaning anyone who goes along with what we say. And I'm getting a flashback from the old Bush and Fox day. <laughs> Oh, says Obama's no better than Bush in civil liberty. That's what kills me about his followers. They don't see that this man goes against everything they stood for when Bush was in office. The new boss was same as the old boss. Transparency. Give me a break. This fool is Bush in overdrive. Well, change the channel, he did get us out of those wars. Really? How many countries are we bombing at the present? How many countries are we arming at the present? How many people did we assassinate this week? Suspects. Suspect. A person thought to be guilty of a crime or offense. Thought, an idea or opinion produced by thinking or occurring suddenly in the mind. Which, if you justify killing suspects, you done lost yours. <laughs> Republican, Democrat, and extremists if you ask me. I think it's just insane how both play the same roles at different times while mesmerized by a win-lose mentality to the degree that any sense of irony is obstructed. Most followers don't even understand what they're following, let alone being aware of its workings. For most, they believe it's all about a person, a facade, a group, a team, and can't grasp the concept or the complex system that is behind the curtain, always running, always keeping people separating and fighting each other over who wins and who loses, whose turn it is to rub someone's nose in it because that's what they did to them the last Last time. So the cycle continues as it has for thousands of years and counting. Just something to think about. I'm changed the channel and I'm out. <laughs>